Fighting out of the red corner, wearing the grey trunks trim with red and white. Weighed in at 11 stone and 13 pounds, 8 ounces with a 17 fight record. 16 wins, one inside the scheduled distance and only one draw. He remains undefeated from corner across Scotland. gentlemen welcome home to london he's fighting out of the blue corner wearing the black trunks trim with white weighed in at 11 stone 13 pounds two ounces of the 25 fight record 22 wins 17 inside the scheduled distance and just three defeats he's a three-time world title challenger the winner of the british and commonwealth championship the former undefeated european champion Ladies and gentlemen, from Hammersmith, London, England, St. John Okay, fellas, spoke to you both in the dressing room. You both know I expect. Keep it clean, break straight away when told. Both of you watch your heads in close. Good luck to you both. Touch gloves. Good luck, lads take it long get it into the later round but for Brophy as well how does he cope with this pressure yeah it is he needs to just loosen up a little occasion for Brophy Groves so he'll have settled done a lot of sparring with Callum of the Scotsman and there's a big right hand and the first one that lands has an effect Brophy looks to try and cover up on the ropes Grove still has that power in the right hand and Brophy still feeling the effects of this needs to do something about this because Foster is having a good look already and now Brophy finds a right hand covered up covered up well though shots pretty much at will as he did last time we saw him at the end of January so he's got a bit of power there himself that's what he needed to come back over the top look at the effect it had on David Brophy yeah the the punches of Groves then they feel if they're gonna well especially about his weight might suggest you're just thinking he has to drop down to domestic but he's accurate and he's hurtful Groves has a nice little body shot that he put in there got caught that was a nice left that he threw Too, but he's not setting a very fast pace and at the moment Groves is just comfortable on waiting for the later rounds I think he doesn't want to commit himself too much when because he can only capitalize on the later rounds if at the moment this is exactly the pace he wants picking the shots pretty much up his father John played for Airdrie he was on the books of Dundee training partner with Ricky Burns talk about good experience as Groves manages to catch him there as soon as it opened up yeah, and that's where the danger looks from broken groves is the danger. Complaint there from Brophy. Maddy Jack. And Felix Sturm, one of the two WBA champions, and now Brophy is tagged and he is feeling this. And he may struggle to get up from this. He's in big, big trouble. And he's waved off. Too easy for Groves. It looked a huge step up for David Brophy. That's how it's turned out. No banana skin at the O2 tonight. Yeah, Groves. He holds wins over Paul Smith, James DeGale. You know, he's boxed at a shot. very high level. Straight in the solar plexus, that right hand. And that took everything. Yeah, as I say very heavy hand and he was taking a he was taking a pound and tried to get up but he's never never going to make it never going to be able to fight on throws the jab the right hand just shoots under near the liver hard punishing blow but i think also the, the punches that he took before that the, the solid jabs the right hand early on you know, he knew right from the start with that high held guard that it was all about defense. You know, and it was going to be a tough, tough night for him. And I think, you know, George Groves, he's, he's, 
world class, and that's where we need to see him. Ladies and gentlemen, timekeeper Michael McCann has recorded the time of 47 seconds of the fourth round on a count out. Your winner and the new WBA International Super Middleweight Champion from Hammersmith, London, England, St. George Groves. Someone said George Groves was washed up when he lost to Badu Jack. Last